Happy Wednesday, folks. Welcome back to another episode of Alternate Shot. And welcome back, Coach Paul. <laughs> oh, thought we practiced that one. One of the number one topics that we tackle with our players is getting the club face square. And it's also one of the most difficult things to do. So in the next clip, Paul's going to talk about a concept that you might not be thinking about. Well, welcome back. Like Miles said, I'm going to show you uh, the best way to square up your face when it comes to the downswing. First, I'm gonna show you what people are doing wrong. So there's two, two uh, wrong ways of uh, squaring up the face. Um, I have this line here to illustrate the division between the club head and the grip. So when the club face is open on the downswing, both your grip and the club head are on this side of that divided line. When the club face is closed and going to the left, both of your grip and club head are on that side of the divided line. The correct way to square up the face is to divide those two and separate the club head from the grip on the downswing. So the club head will go that way while the grip stays on this side. Kind of like this, okay? so. I have a drill for that. Uh, if you make a circle with your thumb and your index finger and put it around the shaft, on the downswing, slide down your finger to up the shaft. So from here, you're going to let the hand slide down or up the shaft. And that's going to make sure that the grip stays here and the club head goes out. Okay, so the ball flights that happen when you're, when both, both the grip and the club head are on this side is because the club face is open, you're going to flip it and create a hook. On the other side, if both sides are on that side, the ball flight you're going to create is a big slide. So if you want to help yourself to hit the ball straighter and square up the face, just do those uh, things I just said, and that's going to help you um, hit the ball straighter and lower your score. Thank you. Welcome back. Fantastic stuff there from Coach Paul. Really good. Squaring the club face is immensely important. If you can't square it, you can't control it. If you can't control it, you can't find it. And if you can't find it, you can't play it. For those of you still struggling to get things square and in need of some ammo, we have a viewer contest. We each have our own names for that dividing line that Paul described, but we want you to come up with the best one or the one that you're gonna use for your own practice. So comment below this video with the best name for this square face line. Winner gets a dozen golf balls. We'll announce that during next week's video. So until then, stay tuned and take care.